Okay, so we're going to do some cleaning. So the first step is obviously cleaning them. So they have to be clean so they can be inspected again to make sure what I can reload and what I can't. Uh, so what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a Lyman tumbler. Um, I've had this tumbler for a long time. This is, in my opinion, the best way to clean brass. Um, some people use a hydrosonic uh, with some simple green or some degreaser in it. I don't use that because then you have to dry it. There's a whole other step that's involved. You have to make sure that the cases are dry and you have to bake them. I don't, I don't like doing that. I just like using the, the walnut media. The walnut's nice. You could throw it away when you're done. You don't have to worry. It's biodegradable, obviously, because it's walnut shells is what it is. And I'll use a little bit of polish um, inside that. Now, the 45s, I'll run for about half an hour in it. Gets it nice and clean. And um, I'll show you how. I mean, basically, all I do is I pile about... 200 rounds. I could do 200 rounds of 45 ACP in there. So uh, let me pause this. Let me load it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's 200 rounds in there. And I take the, the media, real simple. Pour it right in there. Try not to spill anything on the floor. Boom, done. Get that nice and even. And then I use a polishing compound. Um... This is actually exactly what it is. It's a brass polish for vibration case tumblers, okay? And I put about maybe two or three tablespoons in there. Just a quick, you know, boom, that's all you need. And I'm going to put the top on. Lock that down. You gotta lock that down tight because you turn this thing on. Now, you let that go like that for about half an hour. Um, the cleaner you want them, the longer you run them. Okay? So like the 300 Win Mag, the ones that I'm, I'm paying real, real close attention to, I'll actually put them in there for four hours because I like those rounds clean, clean, clean. I like them clean inside, clean outside. Um, and I'll show you about that. I go extra steps. I clean out the primer pockets before I prime them. I, I do a lot of stuff that I don't do with the other rounds. Um, the reason why I don't do it the other rounds is because... Like I said, the 45s are target. I use them for target. I use them in my home defense guns. Um, I know that they are accurate to within 50 yards, and that's all I need them to be. I am not long range shooting with a, you know, with a 45 ACP. Um, but the really neat thing that I like about this Lyman tumbler, and a lot of the tumblers have this. Some of them don't. Um, is the way you actually empty them out. It's got a built-in strainer. And let me just show you real quick if I can show you without dumping all the media all over the floor. So when, you, when you're running it, you pull this plug out on the side and you gotta get that in there. So watch. Try not to get the media all over the place. But anyway, basically you just do that until it completely empties out. And there is a built-in strainer in the bottom of the unit. So all of the media comes out, leaves all the brass up in the top. You just got to empty the brass out. Make sure that the brass is empty. And I've already done a couple. So here is basically what they look like. Nice and shiny clean, and the insides, like I said, the insides I'm not too concerned about. It's just the outside. And just to show you, let me get some, uh, let me see if I can find one or two really raunchy ones. Okay, this is an unclean case, all right, and these are the clean polished cases, all right. And the video is not really showing it, but I mean, you're looking at them, I'm looking at it right there, and then this is, this is dirty. And these are nice and shiny and clean. So anyway, those 
Um, I have about, like I said, I, I did a whole batch of 200. So those are ready to be loaded. I'm going to do the rest of these. Um, and then I'm going to do the other brass. And so during the course of the week, I'll do that. And um, then probably maybe later in the week, maybe Friday, if I get this done, I could actually put some of this 45 in the loader. And I'll show you my loader and I'll show you that whole process with that.